Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is going to be looking through some really good comps and strategies for the 15 win challenge. So it's coming up this weekend as you can see. I'm recording this just a day before. Uh, but yeah, it's coming up in a day's time. So just going through a lot of good strategies. going to be giving you my tips on what star powers to use, uh, what comps to use and how to run them. So yeah, let's jump into the first set, which is going to be Gem Grab Stone 4. Okay guys, so the first set is going to be Stone 4. So for this set, it's going to be a really easy set. You're going to be facing really low level people. But anyway, I thought I'd show you the comps anyway, just so you guys know what's good on this map, even if you want to push it on ladder or if it comes up in power play. So definitely number one recommendation is going to be M's for sure. M's is completely broken. But as you can see by the comps, take a screenshot of this. Okay, guys. So for Stone Fort, definitely recommend using the Gene as the mid. But if you guys aren't that best Gene mid, I'd definitely recommend going the likes of Pam, the likes of Poco. Are actually, really good here. Even uh, even Bo's pretty good here, really. Uh, with his mines and his star power, makes you see through the bushes. Uh, but yeah, definitely be running M's if you've got M's unlocked. M's is absolutely broken right now. Uh, using that hype star power, you can just get so much value as long as well as her gadgets as well. It's just uh, you just can't touch M's until all of the gadgets are used up. But yeah, this map's all about gaining the mid control, not letting the enemies sneak around the bushes. So definitely be keeping control of the mid, but also. Uh, being aware if the enemies have sneaked around because you don't want to get crapped up on and then uh, lose all the gems So this map as I said before is going to be a really easy one It's not really a lot to say as long as you go at a decent comp You should be winning this you could even if you're that skilled you can use really bad brawlers because you're not going to face uh, good opponents uh, But yeah other really good lanes you've got the likes of Jackie who's incredibly broken right now You've got Rosa who's really good on this map when using that gadget because you can just create more bushes and in turn with her star power that makes her heal 200 for every second in a bush it just makes for really good value so overall tips for this map uh, so if you're using that poco as a mid you want to be helping your lanes as much as possible using the decapo star power you can just constantly be healing your teammates and it's going to be really hard for the enemies to kill them if you're constantly healing them as well as the poco gadget is just incredible right now uh, you can use tara is pretty good on this map uh sneaking up in the bushes and using a super to good effect uh but i think <laughs> you definitely want to be running a gene or poco in mid for sure but as i said before uh literally every challenge i've done the first set is always going to be really really easy so just as long as you don't know, use really bad brawlers like Mortis, like the throwers on this map, you've got to be coming home with a really good success rate. So uh, the, the main comp we do go though is the one I put in the, uh, in the little graphic I did. So it's the Gene Pam M's which we're playing in this gameplay right now. Uh, it's just such a broken comp. The Gene heal combined with the uh, Pam heal in the turret as well. You've got the Gene gadget which heals him as well. You've got the Pam gadget that heals him as well. So it's just so much heals that enemies just can't deal with it really. So yeah, it's not much really more to say about Stone Fort. Uh, it's a really good map. I enjoy playing it. You can play a lot of different brawlers. So definitely don't shy away from choosing a range of brawlers. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the second set. Okay guys, jumping on to the second set. So it's Super Stadium. So a really fun map on Brawl Ball. So second set, you're going to be facing a little bit tougher opponents, but not really the best still. So definitely recommendations, like I can see by the top 10 brawlers and the comps here. Uh, if you've got M's unlocked, definitely play M's because on challenges, bans aren't in play. So the best brawlers are definitely going to be the likes of M's and Jackie still. Uh, the gadgets are just so broken uh, as well as M's is super and star power. Yeah, so for Super Stadium, a really good comp is going to be the Gene M's Jackie. But definitely combining the Gene with a Max as well is also really good. And Max with tanks on this map is super, super good. So Frank on this map, in my opinion, with the gadget is one of the best brawlers just because you can get so much pressure uh, pushing up the left and right lane as well as the gadget. Uh, enemies can't cancel that super or in fact when people try and super you, so like a Tara pull or even an M slow or a spike slow, something like that. Uh, you can just pop your gadget and just run through it. It's uh, insane on this map. So definitely be combining and then brawlers, but a brawler you definitely need for sure is M's just because of how broken she is right now. And then recently with the balance changes, Poco has become a really good brawler now. 
he got an increase in his damage but it's not only that a lot of people didn't realize how good poco was his gadget is really really good uh, when you combine this with bb's gadget it just uh it's just insane you just can't take bb down especially when she's using that batting stance style power but yeah bb's actually really good in the meta right now but speed's going to be helping her in game modes like brewable obviously to score goals quicker uh you've got the uh, rosa with the bush gadget is going to be creating a lot of bushes obviously and uh helping you win a lot of control because the enemies just don't know where you are within that bush uh, a really obvious pick is going to be Daryl still when Daryl's combined with the likes of Gene it just leads to you, you just dominating brawlers just constantly pulling people uh, and then Daryl obviously shooting them Daryl's got insane DPS so you can just take him out really really easily uh, Nita's also pretty good on this map with the gadget it just makes her really good uh, when you combine this with her star power hyper bear it's going to be to a really good effect but yeah, you can use quite a wide variety of brawlers. It's all down to personal preference, really. Uh, but as long as you're using one of the top 10 brawlers, you should be becoming victorious on this map. But in my opinion, you want to be using the likes of Max combined with a tank. And even, uh, well, definitely number one pick is going to be M's for sure, as I've mentioned so many times before. You've got to, got to, got to use M's just because of how good she is. But yeah, not much more to say about Super Stadium, really. It's all about uh, pinching and working well as a team. Uh, just pushing up really and as long as you've got a gene or a poker in your comp you're going to be golden really so yeah that's enough for super stadium let's move on to set three okay guys so set three is going to be a deeper danger bounty a lot of people do not like this map i don't really like this map just because how annoying tick is on this map but as you can see by the graphic the number one brawler is 100 percent going to be tick you definitely need a tick on this map if you don't have a tick you're basically screwed so definitely be using it tick on this map and uh, yeah take a screenshot of this i'm going to be showing you some gameplay so deeper danger is a fairly new map it's only been out a few months i believe uh, but it's a definitely a different map compared to a lot of bounty maps you've got the grass in the middle uh, you've got the two choke points either side of the uh, inside the grass so you, the main tip i have is with tick you want to be absolutely spamming them choke points not letting enemies uh, push up on you and sneak through the grass and then with Brock with his incendiary style power you want to be doing the same but doing it through that left lane and then through the left choke point and then a tick I prefer him to sit behind that little L shaped wall on the right hand side uh, it's just going to be so good you've got to be able to patrol a lot of them up so one brawly I know uh, a lot of people do not like playing tick and don't like facing tick but you just have to use them unfortunately and then for a third option I like Mr P or Penny so Mr. P is really good at scouting on this map. His little spawners uh, can help show where the enemies are. And then enemies have to waste ammo killing them spawners anyway. So uh, it's always putting you at an advantage if they're constantly shooting at the spawners. So definitely recommend using Mr. P on this map. And then the likes of Penny. Penny you can just throw in there if you're a good Penny. If you enjoy playing Penny, she's really good on this map. Uh, the places to place her turret, you want to be putting it in the l-shaped walls at the back you see where the grass is there you're going to be placing it there away from the enemy tick and away from any fire through the middle you want to be keeping that turret alive so you definitely be placing it in the back and then for brock the objective is really to gain a lead with brock you can use this gadget uh, to be aggressive but also using his super to destroy a lot of the map especially when you're in the lead just so you know where the enemies are really so your job uh, is mainly to stay alive destroy as much cover as possible when you're in the lead and then the main reason that I don't use Gene on this map is because of how good Mr. P is on this map and Mr. P just completely hard counts Gene so I tend not to run a Gene but you can run Gene if you're feeling brave Gene's definitely a really really good brawl on this map and then to even surprise the enemies a lot of tanks are actually good on this map uh, if you're using triple aggression it can easily counter the control comps so if you enjoy going the likes of mortis the likes of rosa the likes of bb uh the likes of jackie definitely just run all three of them in a comp and you're going to be coming back with good results and then an another good pick that i've noticed is bow so bow with his gadget makes it so brothers can uh get a super really easily and then bow with his um stop out makes you see through the bushes it makes you gain that control a lot easier you just know where the enemies are at all times 
So I recommend if you're going to be running that bow, it's definitely running with the likes of Brock and the likes of Tick. Just because Brock can get his super and just clear out a lot of the map, Bow with his mines can destroy a lot of cover. So definitely combining them two with Bow's gadget is going to be really good. So yeah, it's, there's not much more to really say about Bounty. It's uh, obviously Bounty, you are going to be playing it uh, for your life rather than getting a kill. Because if you get a kill and then die, you're always at a negative uh, star trade there. So they're always going to be coming better off. So definitely be playing your life rather than going in for that risky play. So yeah, nothing much more to say about Bounty. Let's move on to set four. Okay, so set four, Hot Potato, is one of my favorite heist maps. So I really enjoy playing this map. But the meta has switched up a lot since the balance changes a few days ago. So the normal uh, control comp on this map would have been the likes of Brock, Rico, Barley, Max. Uh, you, you would have seen a lot, a lot of them uh, brawlers. But now the meta's kind of switched up. You see a lot of Max combined with tanks. And you see a lot of BB now. So BB with speed is going to be really good in heist. So Hot Potato, my personal favourite on this map is Rico. Rico is so good on this map. I really enjoy playing him. His gadgets are really good for scouting out the bushes. A lot of people don't like his gadget, but I actually really enjoy playing it. But the number one brawler for sure is going to be Max. Max combined with tanks, as I said before, is just insane. Max combined with Rico as well is just really good. The way you want to be playing Max is definitely be uh, be kind of defensive. And then once you've killed all the enemies, you can then push up the map. It's all about gaining control. Uh, and then the Rico, if you've got a Rico on your team, Rico's definitely going to be the one who's defending. Rico's really good against tankier brawlers, as he's good at scouting the grass. And he has a really insane DPS with his super. So definitely recommend playing that. And then it's up to you whether you want to play the more aggressive comps. So the comps with Daryl in them, the comps with Rosa, BB, Bull. Uh, or you can go for the more control comps, so you've got the likes of Rico in the mid. So yeah, the control comps, Rico in the mid, you've got the Barley, you've got the Max. So they're the kind of more control comps, and then even Brock to count the Rico in the mid. But in my opinion, the meta has switched up a lot, and you're going to be seeing a lot of tank comps. So Rosa's really good on this map, I really enjoy playing her, just because of her gadget again. Her gadget is one of the best in the game. So in this grass, a lot of times tanks can sneak up. And then if you're using the gadget to create more grass, you're just going to create more confusion for the enemy, buying you more time, gaining a lot of control with a gadget. So it's super, super key to be sneaky with Rosa. So definitely be running that healing style power to keep your life for longer. And it's all about pressure on this map, in my opinion. So yeah, definitely be running Rosa. Um, then BB... I've spoke a lot about BB, but BB on Heist has always been good, one of the best modes. But using that bubble on this map is going to be really, really crucial. You can get a lot of value with the bubbles because there's just so many walls you can bounce it off. Uh, and then on the high safe as well, if you can see the walls that either side of the high safe, safe left and right, you want to be hitting the bubble uh, just so it hits the safe continuously side to side, uh, getting a lot of damage with that. Uh, but it's not much too uh, too much more to say about hot potato really. Um, there's it's the fourth set, so you're gonna be facing a lot harder opposition. But it's definitely a really fun map to play, a really good map to play as long as you pinch in the enemies. So on defense, when the enemies are behind the walls, you want to be working together as a team, pinching the enemies and working uh, to counter attack and push. Uh, but yeah, the number one tip for heist, in my opinion. Uh, would be to recognize what brawlers do what amount of damage so say for example you've got the Nita without a bear on the safe you can afford just to leave the Nita really uh, because she doesn't do a lot of damage she's got really bad DPS so you can just leave her and then go for the safe uh, the enemy safe and you're just going to be taking it down so much quicker than just a lone Nita on the safe uh, so yeah definitely recognizing what brawlers do what damage on the safe and then taking advantage and destroying the enemy safe quicker so yeah, that's going to be it for set 4. Let's move into set 5. Okay guys, the final set and by far the hardest set this will be is Siege. A lot of people struggle on Siege and just don't know how to play it right. Uh, but yeah, definitely be using these comps on the screen at now. Take a screenshot of it now because it's going to go in a sec. So definitely be running these comps. I do like Gene a lot, but uh, Gene can be substituted for Penny. But it's only really a couple of mids you can play on this map. So yeah, definitely take a screenshot. Okay, so for Siege, you do see a lot of Gene on this map. So if you're a good Gina, definitely be going Gina in the mid. So Gina is just crucial in this comp. Gina is a really good tank killer. Um, 
It builds up his super really easily for tanks, so definitely be focusing on the tanks if you're playing the Jean. And then for Penny, for the alternative mid, uh, Penny's turret is going to be really good. You can either use the Last Blast style power, so you can chuck your turret in the uh, enemy zone and just get a little bit of damage on the Ike. So continuously using that turret, getting turret over and over again, and making use of that Last Blast is really good. Uh, but Penny's going to be good in mid, just gaining control. Penny's a really good control brawler. And then the meta has switched, as I said before. BB is going to be really, really good in Siege right now, just because of her speed. Uh, her speed is very fast right now, and then with combined with the home run at star power, she's just going to be super speedy, collecting all them bolts, uh, just collecting them way faster than the enemies, and then her home run, just hitting the enemies back continuously, you're just going to be gaining so much control, so definitely recommend playing BB, and then if you're playing Jean, combining Jean with Daryl, uh, Daryl's really good on Siege right now, one of the best Siege brawlers, uh, he's super good at taking out enemy tanks, so the likes of Rosa, the likes of Frank, uh, Daryl's just completely uh, obliterates these brawlers. And then a lot of the time, I like to choose Barley. So Barley's a really good control brawler. He's fell, fallen out of the Siege meta a tiny bit just because of how good tanks are now. Uh, it can be hard for Barley to constantly be facing the likes of like two, three tanks. But Barley's really, really good on offense. He's a bad defensive brawler. So it's all about combining Barley with the likes of uh, Daryl, Frank, Rosa. You definitely need a tank on this map. So whatever your personal preference is, I prefer Daryl. But some people may prefer Rosa over him. So definitely be running them. And then Ems is super good on all maps really. You can use Ems on pretty much any map. Uh, it's one of our worst siege maps. But you can basically use Ems anywhere without star power and gadget. So now going through overall siege strategy. So in my opinion, uh, going for the last siege bot is going to be the best option. Uh, then getting that first bot is super, super important for keeping control. So definitely recommend. It's just about uh, just judging how the game goes really, and uh, just going. <laughs> it's literally every game's different, so it's kind of hard to uh, give advice on how to play siege unless the game's kind of going on really. Uh, it's just a matter of <laughs> playing a lot of siege and just getting used to how to play it. Uh, but my opinion, I do really love the gene. So if you're a good gene, be using that uh, pull to pull enemies into the Ike. Uh, even tanks, you're going to be able to just destroy as long as you pull them into the Ike. And then it's all about just keeping control. Uh, the brawlers that are good for pressure. So as you can see in this gameplay, you've got the Rosa Bush in the middle. I just don't know where the enemies are all the time. So it can be really uh, frustrating and hard to gain back control when there's a Rosa in that bush. Uh, or any brawler really for that sake so the likes of even Barley is quite uh, dangerous in that bush just because you don't know how much uh, damage he's going to be putting out to you at any time because he can just sneak up to you uh, but yeah in my opinion um, Barley is going to be really really good at getting the one pushes just because of how much damage he does but then he's going to really struggle on defense but the best thing about Barley is his gadget for defense as you can see uh, you can just slow down that siege bot uh, tremendously and just get absolutely uh, really good damage on the bot, taking him down really easily. So definitely be using the Bali gadget when on defense, if you've got that one. And then in my opinion, Magic Puffs is going to be the better star power, just because a lot of the times on siege, when you're going in for the pools, you're going to have teammates around you. They're probably going to be getting hit as well, so healing them up. Uh, alongside you is going to be really good a lot of people don't like it but that's just because you don't see the benefit of it for yourself but your teammates do see the benefit of it and uh, you will be winning a lot more engagements okay guys that's going to be the end of today's video hopefully a lot of you guys will be seeing this screen uh, after watching this video uh, but give a lot of good comps a lot of good strategies it's all about finding a team really you don't want to be going into these games with randoms uh, because let's face it, all randoms suck. <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely be using the uh, look for a team feature if possible. And then maybe just finding teams on Twitter, on Discord communities, in clubs. Definitely be finding a team. I can't stress that enough because you're just going to get nowhere with randoms. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comment section below how you got on. Uh, let me know what videos you want me to do next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.